when I used to cut a pomegranate, I made a mess. There was juice all over the place and the juice stains. So I'm going to show you a way to cut open a pomegranate. What you're going to need is a large bowl of water and a cutting board and a knife. Um, the cutting board is just because in the beginning we're going to cut off this little knobby part that looks like a belly button. And then with the small knife we're just going to score it. And by that I mean we're going to pretend like we're cutting into wedges, but you can see I'm not cutting very far deep into the pomegranate. I'm just piercing the skin a bit. And I'm going to do this all the way around. This will make it so much easier to open. But what we're going to end up doing is opening it under water, but not yet. After we put all the slices in, what we've done now, now plunge it into the bowl of water for five minutes. The pomegranate has now soaked in the water for five minutes. So the trick is going to be, I'm going to tear it apart, but as I do that, I'm going to keep it under water as much as possible. And this is the biggest bowl I get, so. As long as you're tearing it apart under water, the little pomegranate seeds with the juice around them will stay intact. You just want to carefully pull them away from the membrane. And the pomegranate seeds will sink to the bottom. And I hope I don't bore you by doing the whole thing. If it takes too long <laughs> to do the whole thing, I'm going to cut the video short. But I'm just pulling them out from the membrane like this. And then I look to see if there are any stuck inside because I want to get every single one. And after I pulled out all of them, I take the, the skin out and I just toss it away. So now I'll do this one. And you'll notice these little membrane pieces will float to the top. And later, after you've dislodged all of the pomegranate seeds, you can skim the top of the water to get those little membranes out of the water. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing here? Hopefully I zoom the camera in enough. The thing is you don't want to bring it above the water to take the seeds out. You always want to be under the water. It's real tempting to lift it out of the water and pull the seeds out, but then the seeds are just going to break. Okay, so you see how easy that is with these pre-cut wedges? That's another one. Break it underwater. That way I never cut my knife into the pomegranate, so I never sliced any of the seeds with a knife. Because once you do that, you've got juice all over the place. It's a mess. So all of these little seeds hide out in the membranes. And really close sometimes to the interior part here. There's another one. So rather than have you sit through me showing you every single wedge, I'm going to pull this out and I'll show you, we'll pretend like all of these um, membranes are. Now I see some membranes down here, the white part, but there are some seeds attached to it. So you can just pull those off and the seeds will sink to the bottom. And I have a thing that I can use to skim these off. You can also use a slotted spoon. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a skimmer that looks like this. also good for pasta and you can get rid of it that way or you can also use a slotted spoon and gather up here I see some attached to um, pomegranate seeds 
so you can pull those out. So I'm going to pause the video now and then I'll show you how I store the pomegranate seeds if I'm not going to use them all at the same time. When I'm done skimming all the white parts off, I actually scoop these up and put them into another bowl that has water in it. I might have put too much water in. Or you could also put these in the bowl first and then put some filtered water in. And that's how I store them in the refrigerator. And I'll sprinkle these on top of a salad. They're delicious on top of a salad. And even though where I live we get pomegranates in the winter, it makes salads in the winter time seem really summery. You could make juice out of them by putting them in the blender. I haven't tried that yet. You probably have to filter out the seeds then, just strain them. But they store really nicely in the refrigerator. And uh, I'm just about getting all of them in here. So that's how you peel a pomegranate. And then later, a few minutes later, that's how you store pomegranate seeds in your refrigerator. And then, of course, I put a tight-fitting lid on top.